Okay, uh, welcome back again. So untuk video kali ni, so we going to learn about HTML attributes. Okay, HTML attributes. Okay, so dalam HTML, so we have these HTML attributes that provide additional information about HTML elements. So before this, we have learned about HTML elements like image, paragraph, body, head, and so on. So now we're going to learn about their attributes. Okay, so they provide additional information about HTML elements. So these attributes. These are the example of attributes we're going to learn for these sessions. Okay, these attributes can uh, these HTML elements can have attributes. So these are the attributes. Attributes provide, uh, attributes provide additional information about an elements. Okay, and then they are always specified in the start tag or opening tag. So attributes usually come in name or value pair like this one okay so this is the name or oh, maybe size and this is the value 14 pixel so the name and the value so these are the attributes okay so let's see the first attribute which is hyperlink preference okay so we start with save it as html file ssl okay. html my personal project save this file as attributes.html <coughs> save this file ok so the power of sublime HTML attributes. Okay, we start with hyperlink reference. Okay, so this attribute, the HTML links attributes are defined with the A tag. Okay, the A tag. So the attributes will be the link address is specified in the hyperlink reference attributes. So we have learned in a basic HTML. So, hyperlink reference. So, this is the attributes. What is the value? Equal to double quote http dot slash www.google.com. So, these are the attributes. Okay. Link to Google slash a. So, these are the elements. These are the attributes and these are the value. Okay, for hyperlink reference. Alright, hyperlink reference. Now we go to SRC or we call it as source. Okay, this one SRC or we call it source. Okay, source HTML image. Source belongs to element image so image are defined with the img tag so img this is the tag for image the file name of the image source is specified in the src attribute src so src equal to what is it the value so we specify the source of the image in this part okay for example image folder folder and picture one dot jpeg okay and that's it okay. so this is the attribute the value this is the attribute for image and this is the value for that attribute okay next we're going to see width and height okay so width and height attribute can be put inside image okay define height and the value maybe 400 pixel and the width 400 pixel so, 
So dia sebenarnya tak kisah pun dia buat width to low ke ataupun height dahulu. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. Then, you can just see alternate. So alternate helps, okay, the alternate, alternate ALT or alternate attribute specify an alternative text to be used. If an image cannot be displayed, okay, so contoh, okay, for example, you have an image and it cannot be displayed. In other words, it can display because of technical issues, the loading file is in incorrect and the network is slow so that the image cannot load properly. So user can hover to that missing image and a full tips of that image will appear. Okay, so that is the function of alternate the alternate uh, attribute. So alternate attribute can be placed in between image. For example, alternate go to what is the value? So maybe this is image of maybe PL. CC. So we have this alternate text for this image. Okay. Now we move forward to style attribute. So this is style attribute belongs to CSS. Okay. For example, you want to change change uh, the style of headings to color red. So we're going to stylize the headings. So the style attribute is used to specify the styling of an element like color, font, size, and etc. For example, we have a paragraph. No, we have heading one. Okay, heading one. This is heading for a page. Okay, we're going to change the color using style. Put it here. Okay, style equal to so what are the value? So color equal to no 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 colon red. So we have stylized the headings heading for a page with style color red. Okay, and then language. Okay, this language attribute language the language of the document can be declared in the HTML tag where it's here okay so the language is declared with the length attribute L A N G okay so HTML language okay so maybe you want to see it is English US or English Britain. Okay, you declare in this side HTML language English. So declaring a language is important for accessibility applications such as screen readers and search engines. Alright. And then last attribute is title. <coughs> so title. Here, a title attribute is added to the paragraph elements. Okay, the value of the title attribute to be displayed as a tooltip when you mouse over the paragraph. So we're going to create a paragraph. Okay, so paragraph start with title. All right, go to this is sorry. This is a this is. First paragraph. Okay, that's it. Okay, so start with this is paragraph. Okay, so this is the title. Okay, this is, will be a two tip for the title, and this is the content. Okay, let's see what happened when we save this page alright bootstrap no not bootstrap my personal project attributes okay so see 
the style attribute is functioning color red this is a paragraph okay so one hover so see we have a two tip this is a paragraph so this is a image of cancer so this is a tip two tip because there are no image related to KLCC, the picture1.jpg. There are no picture1.jpg. So, the browser cannot find the image for this designated image. Picture1 is cannot be found in this folder. So, we have alternate text. This is image of KLCC. So, the browser displayed the two tip. This is image of KLCC. Okay. So in HTML5 standard does not require lowercase n for attribute names, but we strongly recommend lowercase in every HTML code that we're going to use in future. Okay, unless it is for the content. Okay. So that's it. Thank you.